but they had the option of picking up the vengeful spirit eyes towards the top if they don't get anything out of this blaze this is a lot of time where they're kind of not doing anything and away from the lane now they oh, do spot get out it. luo they got the sentry already for him and it looks like they will be able to get the kill as they just kind of lock in the place with the hoof stop He's sitting there. He thinks that he's safe under the cover, but he's not. Living armor is also not going to be enough, and your first blood goes to Westbrook. So he ventures away from the off lane, and he is able to get a little bit of something for himself. And now they're going to use this bit of momentum and just quickly push down this tier one. I'm laying being a factor there, but here we go. They're actually going to go into air here. They get a nice stun. They get a nice shadow strike. It slows them down quite a bit. And, you know, it's taking a lot of muscle power. It is a viper after all. Oh, he's barely alive, and he gets denied. Nicely done there from Kaka. As he gets to deny, generously handing out a couple... Like, I don't know, that, that is a bit in interesting to see. And he's Radiant's been level 5, so he had it for that attack. fight. Yeah, I don't know, that's Yeah, it's a, it says he hit for 45 damage. It's pure damage, it shouldn't be mitigated, but that, it is what it is. Anyways, Treant overstepping his bounds, he does get picked. Yeah, that is just a quick grab for them. And he tried to go in Viz, but that's it's not gonna be... He had that medallion. He didn't have it when they first went towards the pit, then. As you pointed out, he's, he's got it now. Stampede as they rushed right towards Faith. They get the blink of the stun, the assassinate's there, but he's got living armor to help him out. Oh, big sonic wave and overgrowth. Connects on two, plus the ice blast. Westbrook could be in trouble here, but he gets the kill on the Ferrari before he does go down. Now burning, trying to get away, pops out the old, he'll go down. A two-man drop wow. here for Hyper Glory team, coming out really big. Yeah, IG have been kind of one step ahead to take those measures against someone like Pretty Hob, but they've still been able, oh my goodness, Hyper Glory team, really nice start here for game number three. Yeah, and it's just burning doesn't really have anything in terms of survival. Oh, and they keep on walking into no My man's God. land. Oh, uh, the blink stolen too. Like they just they don't expect people to just be hanging around there farming their ancient their big hard creeps, but yeah, the HGT never left. They've been in this position for quite a while. Now they have the blink stun to maybe go on burning again. Stone gaze still on cooldown. Mana shield will help, but he just doesn't have great items. If I was talking about burning's farm before in comparison to sniper, he has since then not even gotten twenty CS, but we do see that blink stomp coming into play, bringing down the tree before he can react, and yeah, I, it's like just burning is this kind of anchor for IG's lineup. Yeah, I'm not sure if it is going to be a Scotty rush. It seems like that would be a very slow progression for him, but I actually love the idea of the casual point booster. They actually, if you do the math on it, with this mana shield up and how much it can actually absorb, this is actually like 570 health out of the point booster so it really helps but, but it should still do the job of making everybody a little bit tankier in the fights but he's gonna blink look for the tp and he looks like he'll get out okay one missing the stun but the hex they got the him ice blast marker gave him the vision and the hex connects they got him okay yeah that was close that thankfully was faith perfect. with a little bit of extra vision from the ice blast Chuan tried to do a blind earth focus on okay. to look at top lane actually farm. westbrook waiting perfectly this is what they've been doing all game long and the game one specifically but going in on ferrari early now getting the combo juan's there to break it down a little bit though in the living armor it might make the difference he's able to get away it was even a nice steal there but they stopped the tp with the assassinate and they're able to get the kill okay nice steal from kaka from that earth spike to even lock him in place that much longer and a nice little attempted escape from ferrari but it's not gonna happen. Either way, it uh, looks like Chuan's actually gonna go for some very aggressive warding. What what is Chuan doing right here? He wants to kill, he wants to follow up with a finger, but he's gonna get chain stun instead. Okay, Chuan, uh a bit aggressive right there. Not the right choice to make. He was a man on a mission, and that was mission impossible. As he goes down. Not not the best choice right there. Meanwhile, top lane, there's no mana shield and really no mana even if he had it active. He'd probably go for a stone gaze, disengage, but he needs a little bit more health. Yeah, now they're on the run. No stampede for seven seconds. The ice blast coming out, and they're actually going to turn this. Nice grab. Now finger on forward as they make a go on his ZSMJ. He will go down. He does have the Aegis, however, and Pretty Hot shows up with his crew, and they're able to get the quick test of faith snag right there onto AA. Snipe onto Burning. They catch him with the telekinesis, pull him back, follow up with that stolen Earth Spike, and now Air just comes in and cleans him up. Burning's going to be out for a minute with no buyback, and here comes the pressure from the north into the high ground even. Juan trying his best to slow him down, but there's going to be some really good damage here for as long as Burning is out. Really smart using the living armor early for the tree. He used it like five, like 10 seconds before they even got to the high ground, so he'll be on cooldown. But now just spam it out, trying to buy time. 30 seconds is what they need. Uh, but it looks like at least one Rax will be falling, and the Sonic Wave doesn't go far enough. 
It'll hit on the creep, it'll hit on the centaur, but they sprung it off and they go for the big melee. I can understand trying to hit it from afar because then you risk being in range of you know, your centaur, your lift from Kakam or so. But yeah, this is this is first racks down, it looks like, or at least they'll get the one main melee racks. Burning's gonna be up in 10 seconds time. Bring it to the next level, and it might be just burning walking out down here on bottom. They have the perfect jump opportunity with these, these blinks. Don't even have to use the blinks to get in there, but yeah, immediate stone gaze. It is gonna solidify air there. They're catching with the sniper. Now the move and follow up stun. They need help. Overgrowth Sonic Wave. Burning. Barely holding oh. on. Westbrook in trouble. And now it's gonna be the stolen stone gaze as they use it right back. They get burning down and Luo. Only three to stand here. Faith's gonna eat a big chunk of damage here as he has to head back to base. Very weak and wounded. And suddenly it's Hyper Glory team now going towards the bottom racks. Oh man. They had just gotten back from recovery and Burning gets caught out again on the bottom. And what a play from Cockney. Much more comfortable position. And, okay. Oh, they're Stone Gaze the stolen as he hops. The one that he took hops in. He gets in a great position to solidify Burning. What a player. But can they finish him off? Oh, they will be able to. Certainly, he goes down. And he does have buyback this go around, but that is back-to-back -back takedowns of Burning. They scout out Luo, they got the gem. He's not going anywhere, he's gonna get sniped. Air gets that kill. Hyper Glory team are just not letting up. They are not giving IG the chance to even think about a comeback at this point. They get another three-man takedown, and they're going right back in towards the base. This time it's gonna be mid. Yeah, just taking care of it, no problem at all. If they were waiting even a couple minutes, this would be a game IG could take, but now they're just getting killed off left and right. Nice Sonic Wave, bursting through the pipe. Centaur will go down, Air's taking some hits. A lot of fire, and he even gets petrified in the end, so never mind. I was about to say that, like, this game, HCT needed to end it now, and they certainly have, but that beautiful Sonic Wave, the Medusa buyback on the front, it actually works out heavily in their favor, and yeah, it even kind of pays for the buyback itself. Like, the Medusa's not unhappy about that. She, yeah, before Medusa actually finds a butterfly, maybe he's not as aware of her lack of farm as uh, we are, because we have all the numbers right in front of us, but no matter the case, they're just gonna go on the back of this Aegis and Cheese. Is cheese is on the Viper, his Midas is on the Courier, and they'll have some big ancients to siege with. The Granite Golem, the Black Dragon, up on the high ground already. Oh, they're going right for burning. If they take him down, he's got no buyback. They're gonna get him, locked in place. He goes down, out for 80 seconds. Stone Gaze was popped. Now they're eating big damage. Westbrook gonna get fingered. They take the Centaur down. Luo, big damage there. That stolen Sonic Wave from Kaka. They did it. They have beaten IG. IG were just eliminated from the Summit 3. What an upset here. The underdogs, Hyper Glory team coming into this matchup. Dota 2 lounge odds had it like 80, 83% favorites for IG. But I said right at the start of the draft for game one, Hyper Glory team are a team that could pull out some ridiculous upsets and they do it again, Blaze. What a hell of a series and what a 